Here we are with My Hero Academia Season 5 Episode 3 and 4. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And anyway, so let's get to the episode. Please keep it short. Not again. This is the third time that we see it. Last season, last episode, and this episode. Holy shit. Two minutes and like eight seconds of that stuff again. Oh. Season five so far not making making the best expression or impression or whatever. So with the recap again and the intro, it's pretty much like one fifth of the episode is already over again. <laughs> awesome. <sighs> And yet it was impression or expression. Expression is what I'm doing here. Stalker. I mean, we also don't see All Might, right? Is All Might one of those in the back that is a shadow? <clears throat>
Ooh. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's What is the yellow one? Oh, the yellow one is all might, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> A versus B. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, why does Yozuru have a cape? Just the gloves, right? <clears throat> Booba. Mhm. Mm More Booba. Oh, it's a blonde guy, right? Mhm. Mm Room girl. <laughs> ah, yeah, the right one. I want to see her. <laughs> I'm mainly interested in the girls, not the guys. Top one. Mm -hmm. Yep, want to see. Can the orange girl punch him? Or Aizawa? <clears throat> oh, him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hell yeah. 
Would be cool if he joins class A. Would really like to see him in class A to see how he interacts with others. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Man, seeing that for the first time, that was such a dope moment. That's a quirk for an evil person. I mean, his quirk is super useful. <clears throat> something that might be really good for him is if you if he had like something that would change his voice, which you maybe could build into the mask, and then when he talks, you can't see that he is talking because of the mask. And because it sounds differently, you might think it is someone else, and then you answer him, and bam, he got you. He has experience in being a villain. Back in season one, he liked it. What the fuck? Okay. What's the one with, uh, what's his name? Tokuyama with the Dark Shadows. Was it only a three person team? Is Dark Shadow counted as a person?
<laughs> Get the pen ready. Hello, midnight. Hey, let's see some action. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he completely beat him. Dead ass. Dead ass indeed, <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone knows it, right? So, I guess everyone knows it. <clears throat> we can't send birds scouting. Super handy ability, too. Oh, we found her. I guess that's obvious. Oh. <clears throat> he has a voice changer. Mm-hmm. That's badass. You can adjust it, I guess. I guess this needs quick thinking, right? After credits? review okay that was the episode let me know what you think but yeah i mean no episode again but now we get finally some action right and yeah um Shinzo is very interesting right because now he has like something to confuse his enemies by changing his voice which is super useful right <clears throat> because this is a prime example right he put on this mask, obviously, so you can't see if he talks. He changes his voice, no one knows about it. And then he talks in the voice of the guy that was on the beast guy. So you couldn't see him talk, you could just hear him. And 
you automatically reacted to it because you obviously didn't expect it, right? Super handy. <clears throat> and yeah. Makes me wonder if that's basically you now win already or if he somehow can snap out of it. I mean, can the guy on the back of this guy like hit him or something to snap him out of it? Because we know that Midoriya like licked his finger to break his finger um, and then he got out of it, right? So I guess if you get hurt or something, um, then it breaks the <clears throat> control, right? I guess maybe. So yeah, I mean, I guess we have to see. But yeah, super useful, I would say. And otherwise, like I said in the episode, I, I mainly can't wait to see all the female characters <laughs> that we don't know from class B. More than I'm interested in the male characters, right? Um, but yeah, I guess we will see, right? So let's get to episode 4. Recap again, holy shit, come on guys. <laughs> this can't be real, dude. This can't be real. Is this happening in every episode that we have like a minute, two minute recap? Oh my god. <clears throat> Come on, it's been only a week. I mean, for me it's not, but I mean, if you watch it at release, it's only like a week since the last episode. <sighs> and with this, <clears throat> we are like at, what, three minutes? <laughs> Oh my god, it's so painful. <laughs> oh. So far, it didn't hook me at all as a season. But I mean, we are not done with episode 4, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, let's get Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so his quirk is less useful than I thought it would be. Because I thought for interrogation that would be super useful if you can get someone to talk. But you can't. Could you maybe write something and then you get the person to write it down? Like here, tell me what your plan is. You write it down and he reads it and then he writes down what he was planning. Would that work maybe? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it needs like quick thinking, right? To adjust it correctly. Did you get him out of it or not? Uh oh. <laughs> <clears throat> not good. I guess he is very resilient as a beast. Oh. <laughs> so how do you break these air prisons? <clears throat> oh yeah, can he break it? <laughs> All right, here we go. Man, it looked like he punches dick. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> bye bye. Oh. God damn, dude. <clears throat> That was pretty good. He is not a fighter. Damn. That was pretty good. But they mainly won because of the beast guy. Huh? 
laying on that ass. He really likes being an announcer. They can kind of have to play around him, have to protect him, and kind of have to incapacitate the enemies too, that they can't get the brainwashed person out of it. But I mean, thinking about it now, the brainwashing ability is nice, but it has some heavy drawbacks, man. I mean, he can control someone, but if he gets attacked by something and it's a big impact it gets snapped out like if you have if you brainwash someone and Mm, some loop if you brainwash someone and an enemy has like a long range attack that is like long range and a big area easily can get snapped out of it like for example the league of villains let's say you brainwash someone and then there is Darby and he just uses a big flame wave Probably get snapped out of it immediately without even getting close. <laughs> or like the girl here, she can use some veins and just whip someone and probably snap them out. Likes cats. Hamburgers. Very handy. Oh. <clears throat> also handy. <laughs> Right, he doesn't know how his own tools work. <laughs> or maybe he has and just put it somewhere else.
God damn. That's a lot of vines. And he finds it. Here we go again. Lightning beam. Rip. And he get fucked again. Oh, he has scales. Interesting. And he did it again. <laughs> Is he trying to control to brainwash maybe two? <laughs> mhm. Mm Damn, dude. <laughs> El the armor. <clears throat> Does he completely did he Oh, because he is in beast mode, he lost, like, focus, I guess, right? <clears throat> no communication, he just goes for what he's thinking about right now. Which I guess can be the drawback if you are basically a beast. <clears throat> God damn. Is this enough? I mean, he is a beast, so maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is real. <laughs> Diversion. Very tricky. Because you can't see his mouth movement. Some something that came to my mind. They could be very interesting. Oh my god, I have the best idea right now for a quirk. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I didn't thought they would turn it around. But I guess it makes sense, right? Because Shisho is here right now, right? He has to prove himself. A Shinso, not Shiso. <laughs> After credit scene. Preview, right? Yeah. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, interesting, right? The use of this brainwashing ability. The mask really helps, right? Because now we. How we could see at the end now, the beast guy thought he would try to brainwash him again and didn't realize that it was the actual person, his teammate, that said that, right? <clears throat> but I think it's also because he is in beast mode, right? So he's probably not thinking clearly, I guess. I guess because you have a human mode and the beast mode and they said you'll basically become a beast, um, that some of your human functions like uh less right like thinking clearly thinking logically staying calm and analyze the situation right i think those traits human traits are minimized i guess right and you are more about like being like a wild beast right being like very aggressive and all that stuff <clears throat> and just like straightforward basically and because of that i think he just didn't really pay attention didn't analyze the situation correctly and thought it was just like another brainwash and was basically kind of like in rage right <clears throat> so i guess that could be i mean i don't know if that's how it works i would imagine so because they said he's basically like beast right so i would imagine that um but yeah but, like I said, <clears throat> Shinzo shows ability, now that we know more about it, has like lots of drawbacks. But I mean, it's still annoying because you have to pay attention and have to be like on edge the whole time to not run into like one of his traps, right? <clears throat> and if, I mean, even if you just control someone for like a short moment, it's an interruption, which can give you an opening, right? So even if you brainwash someone and teammate of him like tries to snap him out of it it's an interruption right one is one can't do anything 
one person can't do anything and the other person has to try to snap him out of it, right? Otherwise, you can use a brainwashed person to do, to attack them, right? So, it's basically two or three people are interrupted in one way or another. So, even if it has weaknesses, like, probably, like I said, the vein girl could probably, like, use one vein as a whip and whip someone that is brainwashed to snap him out of it, right? Um, or, like, like I said, if there was if we would actually fight against the League of Villain and there would be Darby, he could just use like a flame wave or something and heat someone up a little bit or something and that would probably also snap someone out of it. So, because you have this beast guy who's like very, I guess, robust, right? Uh, robust, right? And, res and like very durable, right? And strong. And then there's this guy on his back and just claps him a little bit and he snapped out of it. So it seems like they're... You don't need much force to snap someone out of it, it seems like, so far. So, <clears throat> yeah. It's a big drawback how easily you can get someone out of it, I would say. But still, like I said, even if it's just a moment, you need... One person is brainwashed, can't do anything, or can be used, and then another person has to try to get him out of the brainwash, basically. Otherwise, he is at a bigger disadvantage. So interrupts at least two or three people or more right <clears throat> so even if it's just for a moment it's an interruption and it can be helping it can be helpful to one opening right um and i feel like i repeated myself like three or four times right now <laughs> um, but it, I, like i said in the episode i i had like a great idea what you could do to brainwash people super easily if there are multiple people you just you you he sets his voice up, right? <clears throat> and then he just waits for the moment that they communicate. And when the person who wants to brainwash... Um, when the person he wants to brainwash talks to the person he simulates the voice of, you just speak at the right moment when they communicate. And because it's basically the same voice and he basically gives an answer, because you maybe can't distinguish who is talking right now, then maybe he gives an answer while doing that, right? He gets confused because there's two times the same voice. I guess that could be like something that he could do. I mean, will they ever do that? That he just sits there and tries to time his question or whatever? Because he needs a question, right? To get an answer. Um, <clears throat> so... Will they ever do that, that he sits there and waits for them to communicate to time his question with them communicating to get the answer that way? Most likely not. Would it be something you could do? I guess so, but I guess it needs like a lot of setup, setup too. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I didn't quite thought they, that they would turn it around because it looked pretty dire, right? I mean... Um, two guys were out of commission already, and then uh, what's this guy? Electro dude got captured, so it was only two versus three. And I just thought, like, okay, this looks pretty bad. How can they turn it around? But they did, and yeah. But like I said, it makes sense because Shinsho is basically here to prove himself, and if he wouldn't win, then he couldn't prove himself. I guess. I mean. I guess it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it just, you just have to show that you can adapt in the situation and can be of use as a hero, right? <clears throat> but yeah, I guess that's basically it. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. I would say thanks for watching us next time. Bye.